Okay, I've made a few tweaks to the model now. Uh, you can see here I've got the multiple strands coming down. Uh, on Set on meshes, I can do that. The, last time. the main thing is that the rings, the bands, now aren't at the very ends. You can set them in the middle. Um, a bit of offsetting here. And the, the top and the bottoms don't end quite as they used to with that ring, like I was saying, you can set them in the middle and have the meshes, uh, depending on the, I'll show you these, that's the, the bottom ones, you, you don't have to have the flaring on the pipe. So nowadays what that means is you can use the pipe directly on the bottom or on the top and you know, either have it set on the bottom, uh, say on the ground if it was a kite or down the seabed if it was uh, tidal. And so in the if it's set on the ground, this top net, you're going to want that to be moving and swaying with whatever the current is that's driving this round. If it's set on the, the top, you're going to want these swinging about in the bottom, but dragged probably by you know, some sort of drogue on the base and whether or not they're linked yeah you know, it's if they're not linked you're gonna have to make sure their sizes so that they can't tangle if they are linked there has to be a bit of rigidity to it or it could be slightly bottom tensed but drogued at the same time like a, a kite driven from the bottom uh, tethered to the you know the seabed next step is to make these curves all reactive to the length and the the size of the each component, you know, relative to its bathymetry or, you know, environmental condition uh, or, you know, a general kite idea. In the case of a kite, you'd you'd specify a form beforehand and stick with that. So it would be something nice and even like this. I think in the case of tidal, you're going to have something that reacts to the bottom shape much more. Uh, if this was set in a top net in a valley, then again, you'd be, you know, like the tidal situation, reacting to the the depths below the net and collecting it that way. Now the other thing I've added in this time, if you have we look um, here, so I've got these cuffs now that I was talking about before, so between the, the top side and the bottom side of one of these rings, it was always going to be a bit difficult to get tension through that kind of shape, so I've got these cuffs top and bottom each of the sets and lines between them and you know, depending on how well they'll go in automatically in the model now um, if you just set a whole bunch of new curves here this is where the curves go in so if I preview that you can see that's down the central line of each one of these yeah that, that's going to be quite easy to establish customized curves for any bottom shape there interesting